Welcome everybody, I'm Militia, and this is Aim Junkies Tech Support Videos. Okay, what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to have to delete that real quick, um, is APB for all our APB customers, okay? So uh, I'll go back to the normal. You come to the forum, uh, and you're looking around wondering where you download the loader. Uh, right to your right-hand side, but if that is closed like that, and you can't see it, you just go right down to here, New VIPs, Download Loader and Information. And then you would download the hack loader right here. Okay, if everybody could just download the 32-bit C++ 2010 and the DirectX, that would be greatly appreciated. It's much easier on yourself as well as the staff and myself. So um, we're going to go ahead and download that stuff. Uh, click download. <clears throat> I'm going to have to cancel it because I already have it downloaded. And DirectX as well. Just if you've already has if you already had these installed, it's no big deal. Just go ahead and reinstall them. It's not going to hurt anything, and it uh, it makes sure that you do have them. Okay. Uh, download the hack loader as well. Once again, I already have that on my computer waiting for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize. Um, first thing, make a folder. Always make a folder for it. Um, if you don't make a folder and you have it say like here in your documents like a lot of people I see and they'll have it in their downloads folder yes this is a folder but this is you know if you had five or six different configurations for you trying to fix it yourself and you can't get it downloaded it, it's gonna cause you issues so the best thing is uh, oops the best thing is just put it in a folder I'm going to go ahead and drag over the aim junkies loader right now okay I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm gonna extract the files We suggest that you rename the, rename the loader. It's just a smart thing to do, you know. Name it to anything you want. Um, not necessarily that, just <laughs> anything you want. But uh, okay, so you got that. Now don't you know get all excited and start running the loader and saying the game doesn't work. Got a few things you got to do. Um, all right, so what we have to do is the first thing we're going to install is the uh, C++ 2010. I'm just going to go ahead and um, repair mine because it's already installed, so no big deal. Um, even if you have 64-bit Windows, you need to have the um, the 32-bit uh, um, C++ 2010 because that's what the hack works with the games, etc. Um, it doesn't use the C++ 64-bit. Uh, um, um, you have to have that on your computer if you're running 64-bit, but most likely you do if you're already running 64-bit. So, and then we're going to go ahead and run the DirectX. Now, m remember on the DirectX, you know, you click accept. Watch this little crap here. They try to install this stupid Bing bar. Just uncheck that, and then go through the, um, you know, the setup, the install everything. I already have this installed. Every, uh, you know, it may take a little bit longer if you don't have it installed. Um, Okay, so we got that out of the way. Um, now what you're going to do is usually if you, you know, it depends where you um, install your installation of APB. Um, I actually just put a test. I, I don't install it here because um, it's a small SSD. Anyways, um, if you click on uh, Program Files x86, if you're running 64-bit, that's probably where you're going to find your gamer's first folder, um, you know, you're only going to have this for 64-bit. You know, if you don't have 64-bit, it's just going to say program files. Okay, so uh, we go down and we find our gamer's first folder, which is right here. Sorry. And um, like I said, I have nothing in there. So actually, it's going to be gamer's first folder. You're going to open it up, and it's going to be the live folder. And all the information is going to be inside the live folder. Um, I have mine installed in a different area. Um, actually, uh, oops. I think it is in my E drive. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so this is what, if you opened your live folder, this is what you would see, okay? So you'd see the game, the binaries, engine, etc. So first thing I want you to do is go into your uh, your binaries folder. Now, I don't have this issue, and I actually have recorded this many times, so I'm going to change this back to what it, yours would look like normally. Okay, so I don't have this issue with upper or lower case. A lot of people do. Um, I, I don't know why, personally. Um, uh, so just right-click on it and rename it to lowercase APB, you know, and click Enter or, or whatever you want to do there. To, to uh, Then what you want to do is you don't want to run it from here. You want to go to your APB launcher folder, okay, and launch it from here. Now, you know, just, of course, you know, create a shortcut, put it on your desktop, close that out, you're good.
Okay. One important thing with APB you have to remember with with the hacks here is um, if you're going to run this one as administrator, you have to run the loader as administrator. If you don't run the loader as administrator, you don't have to run the game. It has to be equal. It has to be the same. If it's not the same, uh, most likely it's not going to work. I don't probably want to show you on my computer because I really don't not have any issues, and I can run it probably both ways, which is very odd. So, um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the Aim Junkies folder, and we're going to open up the loader. And then you're going to put your forum username and password, of course. And then just give me one second. Okay. And click Save Login. Okay, now I want you guys to know, um, when you save your login, save your password with six digits or whatever, right? Um, and then when you come back later to play, and if you save the login, don't freak out and think that it's messed up because it's not. It just it encrypts your password for you know for security reasons and your safety. Um, so you know your password may be 30 digits long, and you'd be like, wait, that's not my password. It is. It's just encrypted. So if you click login, you'll log in every time, and you won't have to touch your password because it saves it in the configuration file. Okay. So we have everything set there. Now, a, a few things I want to go over. So I go and I start my APB, okay, and then I start my, uh, or I'm sorry, I start my loader and then I start my APB. Well, I get server connect error, okay. <clears throat> if you get a server connect error, I have made a video for server connect error. Um, I would say if you took 20 minutes of your time, your hacks would probably work 95% of the time perfectly without even having a tech come on your PC. Um, this is what I'm trying to eliminate a little bit. I know some people are iffy having other people on their computers, so I hope that this um, broadens your horizons to see, okay, well, this is how I do it. I don't have to ask these people or ask this guy to come on my computer. You can always ask our tech support, though. They're awesome. Our tech support is next to none. They are, they're really good people. Um, <clears throat> what you want to do is uh, if you go and <clears throat> run the, the game and you run the loader and it says injection success but you don't see a menu pop up at all or anywhere that's most likely you're going to have the problems with the data execution prevention and I have done also a video for that as well um, <clears throat> I try to make the videos five to seven minutes a piece so I hope that you know that is sufficient and everybody gets the point across of how to fix what they need to fix and they can get on gaming and enjoying you know their aim junkie lifestyle okay so um now we have all of this uh, completed. Um, what I'm going to do is you don't have to click inject or anything. You know, Sequence is a badass. He's made it where it automatically does it. It finds the executable as long as it's the correct name and everything is good. Um, no problems. Okay, uh, enough of me rambling on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the uh, APB launcher. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start the game. And you'll see over here, it takes about 15 to 20 seconds once the game comes up to see a, an injection into the game. Um, you'll see a 2D radar on your left-hand side, or, or yeah, on your left-hand side, and then you'll see a crosshair in the middle. Um, if you hit your delete key, I'm sorry about the loud. I'm sorry about the loud sign here. It, it drives me nuts. I understand it. See, it's waiting. It's waiting. It's waiting, and you'll see that it will uh, inject. There you go. There's the injection. See, it takes a little bit, guys. Just so you know. Um, and once it's finished, it closes, and you hit your delete key, and then you have your settings file. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close this because it's annoying. Okay, and so. Now, um, when you when you hit your delete key, your settings files where you're going to set your aimbot up and everything. Um, I'm not really going to go in great detail how to set the hack up. That's not my not my gig. Um, just trying to tell you how to get it to run, basically. Um, so, <clears throat> okay. So, and then always remember you have server connect error. There's a video for that. There's a video for data execution prevention. There's going to be more videos to come as more issues arise. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. My name is Militia. Later.